December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. With the United States now fully fighting a war in Europe and the South Pacific, the decision came down for Montford Point Marines to be deployed overseas. And here comes this great big convertible limo, President Roosevelt. He says, men, now he didn't say boys, he says, men, you have broken records that the white Marines have had for years. As far as I'm concerned, you are just a Marine, good a Marine, as any Marine that put on that uniform, sent them overseas. While not initially sent for combat, thousands of Montford Pointers fought on the front lines of the Asia Pacific Theater, including some of World War II's bloodiest battles, Iwo Jima, Okinawa, and Peleliu. The guys on the fighting front out there didn't give a damn as long as you had your globe and anchor and that you came in with the things that they needed at that time. In fact, they called some of the black Marines black angels because in some of the fighting, they could not even move, stop the fighting to move their wounded. And so with the black guys coming up there with stretchers and what have you, the food, medical and all that business, it meant, it meant a big difference. That it is more important today than ever before to ensure that all Americans enjoy these rights. When I say all Americans, I mean all Americans. By the late 40s, the push for black American civil rights was growing stronger. President Harry Truman responded by appointing a commission on civil rights. Its recommendations included ending segregation in the armed services. And in 1948, Truman issued the executive order that ordered all military branches to integrate. Montford Pointers started to serve alongside their white counterparts. The men had proven their doubters wrong. They could be Marines. They did not disappear as military leaders had intended. But their historic feat, breaking the color barrier in the U.S. Marine Corps, was quietly dismissed. I used to be offended uh, when I would, would read about the Tuskegee Airmen and Buffalo Soldiers. I said, they're all recognized. I go into the movies and I'm seeing uh, uh, the heroics and things that happened at, at, at Iwo Jima. I, I don't see no black Marines. That, that used to bother me because I knew personally that there were a lot of Marines that served, uh, uh, started out at Mumford Point, who are still overseas in the ground, buried, and they wouldn't get no recognition in these movies. And I said, I, I don't understand that. And that used to bother me. It was not a part of Marine Corps taught history. As a Marine myself, coming through our training and our history, we were taught things about other Marines and other events, uh, Iwo Jima, Chosen, uh, the Frozen Chosen, Chesty Puller, Dan Daly, all these men of great valor and everything, but when it came to the point, the Montfort Point Marines, nothing, there was crickets. In 1949, Camp Montfort Point was decommissioned. It would be decades before a chorus of praise for the Montfort Pointers began to grow. At the heart of it, the National Montfort Point Marine Association. But once I got in the Marine Corps, I was interested in the history. But during my first year in the Marine Corps, I worked for a uh, African-American, a black master gunnery sergeant who happened to be a Montfort Point Marine. I didn't know it at the time. When I got orders to Okinawa in February 1978, he gave me this book that I'm holding in my hand and asked me to read it. And it was like an enlightenment. I was like, wow, we do have a history. So when I got to Okinawa, Japan, I started teaching the history. Uh, so that was in February 1978. So I've been teaching the history about African Americans in the Marine Corps for 44 years. Boot camp? Yes. And when you're learning about the history, yes. you weren't learning about the Montfort Point Marine. Not at all, not one second. Uh, but when I came up in the ranks and was getting a little bit more stripes on my sleeves, I started questioning that. But the more I studied and became pretty much an expert on the history, I understood why it wouldn't happen. The Marine Corps didn't want you to know. 
It's just that simple.